What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to give you an introduction to solid tools, SketchUp's built-in manifold solid editing tool set. Um, I will note this tool set is only available for SketchUp Pro users, so um, you're going to need the Pro version of SketchUp for this to work. That being said, so today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. So the SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created because I wanted to provide a, basically a start to finish introductory course to SketchUp. So the course covers everything from basic tools to advanced functions and then we talk about modeling for interior design and layout and then finally we talk a little bit about uh, an introduction to photorealistic rendering. That course is on sale for 20% off for two more days. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to check out the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the first thing I want to note is this tool set, the Solid Tools tool set, is a set that, first of all, only works on manifold solid geometry. And so, you know, we've talked in the past, basically a manifold solid is a piece of geometry that if you were to fill it up with water, and this is the best way to describe it, um, no water would spill out because there's no opening. So it has to be a completely enclosed object. And so I'm going to link up above to a video I did on Solid Inspector. That's an extension from TomTom Tom that's free that can help you create solids. So sometimes getting these to be actual solids can be a little bit challenging and that extension can help with that. So one other thing that may help when we're working with this extension is turning on X-ray mode. And so X-ray mode basically allows us to see through our objects um, with transparent faces. So you can see all of these objects that I have in here, you can now see the overlap of those faces within the transparent mode. And so let's start off and let's talk about the tool set. So the tool set, the first tool that's in the tool set is Outer Shell. And what Outer Shell will do is that combines all of the selected objects into a single object, um, a single solid entity, and it removes all of the interiors. So if you notice now, if we were to take a look at this, if we were to turn X-ray mode off and hide one of these, you'll notice that there's actually a hole in here and there's no more interior entities or overlaps or anything like that. So this is probably the simplest tool to use, but it's very powerful. So it's very easy to create this. And if you look up in your entity info, you can see that this is a solid group. So the second tool is the intersect tool. And what the intersect tool will do is that'll take the intersection between two objects. So in this case, if I was to intersect this box with this box, this tool would take these two objects and as soon as I click on it, it would only give me an object where the overlap is. So everything else gets deleted except where those objects overlap. And that would work the same way over here if I was to create an intersection between these two shapes you would only get the cylinder basically where it passes through this sphere. So you'll notice that this isn't exactly, this isn't exactly flat because it takes on some of the aspects of the sphere as well when you do this. The third option is union. And so what union does is it's very similar to the outer shell option. So union, what it'll do is it'll do the same thing where it'll intersect a series of models and create a solid from them and it'll remove out the intersecting geometry. So the difference between union and outer shell is outer shell deletes out all of your interior entities, period. So you can see if I was to intersect this box with a hole in it and this cylinder with a hole in it, then these two intersect together and nothing's in the middle of all of this. So however, if I was to take these two objects, which are the exact same objects, and I was to use the union option, you can see how you get some geometry left over on the inside. So the difference is the union or the Outer shell option is going to delete out all of your interior entities. The union will try to leave them wherever possible. So you'll just kind of have to play around with those a little bit in order for that to work. So now let's talk about the subtract tool. So what the subtract tool will do is it'll use one object to subtract material out from another. So in this case, if I was to come in and I was to activate the subtract tool, it would ask me for a first and second object. So if I was to click on this rectangle and then this cylinder, you can see how this would remove 
the rectangle from the cylinder object. So you can use that to cut a hole. And the order that you select these in is important because, and notice that your uh, first entity goes away completely and your second entity stays. So if I was to come in and do this the other way, so if I was to select the cylinder first and then the rectangle, you can see how it would use the cylinder to subtract out um, it would subtract out the cylinder from this second object which is this rectangle so and this is useful for this is what we've talked about in the past for if we were to try to do something with site topography so if we wanted to remove out if we had a site that looked like this and we wanted to create a flat building pad on top of this mountain what we would do is we would use subtract and we would select the first object and then the second object and this would subtract your rectangle from inside of your face. So you can use this for some different applications like that. And I will link to a video where I talk about that workflow a little bit more. And then finally, let's talk about our last two options, trim and split. And so what trim does is trim takes an object. So you select an object. That's basically your trim plane. And it'll remove material from the second object while still keeping your first object in the model. So you can use this to do something like creating kind of a template cutting file in order to cut material out of a second object really quickly. So you can see how I can use this to slice through this sphere and keep my cutting plane. And what that does is that removes out the material from your second object where your first object was. On the other hand, the other option over here, which is split, is going to intersect these two objects and it'll keep all of the results. So basically what it's gonna do is it's going to split this object and this object. So if I move this up, you can see how this intersected these two objects and kept all of the remaining geometry and just made them individual entities. So that's kind of an overview of the different tools available inside Solid Tools. So are you using this tool? Leave a comment below and let me know Let me know how. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.